Hello friends and welcome to another session on geometry and uh, we are going to start a new series on one very important topic in geometry and that is quadrilaterals. So uh, you must be aware what a quadrilateral is. So we will start with deciphering or let's say breaking this word into its component or constituent words. How the word quadrilateral has uh, come about what does it mean and uh, what kind of geometric figures we are referring to when we say the word quadrilateral and uh, then base after understanding that we will be studying uh, some uh, features about quadrilaterals its properties and uh, different theorems related to that so in the subsequent uh, sessions we are going to deal with all these features as well as the very important theorems uh, which are related to quadrilaterals now, uh, quadrilateral is a very important and very, you know, um, it's an integral part of uh, all geometry. And later on, you will see that uh, there is a huge uh, um, importance given to this particular topic. And there's lots of uses as well, which you'll see uh, in your later uh, uh, topics, which you'll be taking in mathematics. So, be it uh, analytical geometry or any other... Uh, uh, topic like vector algebra you'll see the understanding of quadrilaterals and their properties would be very very important so let's begin and we'll begin by uh, as we have already done many a times we will be now understanding what uh, this word quadrilateral means first of all and uh, then we'll start with uh, basic definitions around quadrilateral and then we'll go into its features so what is quadrilateral the word quadrilateral so if you see quadrilateral is made up of two uh, basic words one is quad and this means four right quad means four and the other one is lateral which means side okay so basically quadrilateral is a geometric uh, quadrilateral is a geometric figure geometric figure so let me just uh, rewrite it properly so geometric geometric figure isn't it quadrilateral is a geometric figure with with four sides okay it's a so you can add few more uh, attributes to it it is a closed figure okay and uh, it has four vertices okay which are non collinear so let's understand all of these so basically in a plane if you take four points one let's say a another point let's say b then another point let's say c and one more let's say d so four points such that no three of them no three of them are collinear collinear means three of them must not lie in the same line okay so no three of them are collinear so collinear points for example two points are always collinear three points may may not be collinear so this is a collinear it is an example of collinear points all the points are lying on the same line but then here the condition is the three out of the four points must not be collinear okay so now if you join the points let's say i join a to b then i'm joining b to c then c to d and finally d to a so this closed figure so if you notice what do we observe here one is closed it is a closed figure so you would must you must be wondering what is an open open figure so this is an open figure right there are three sides but they are open so one side is like that second side is like that and third one is like that okay but the fourth one doesn't exist or for that matter this is also an open figure okay but quadrilateral will be having uh, or it will be a closed figure with four laterals or we call it sides as well four sides and the sides are namely a b b c c d and d a these are the four sides then there are four vertices so hence the word quad four right four four vertices what all a b c and d 
okay what all then we have four angles as well so many a times a quadrilateral is also called quadrangles quadrangles just like triangles we can call them as quadrangles meaning four angles isn't it so there are four angles so four angles are also there what all so angle abc angle bcb angle cda and finally angle d a b okay so four angles are also there four sides are there four vertices are there so everything is four so hence this figure will be called a quadri lateral there are uh, there's one more uh, uh, geometrical aspect of this particular type of figure and that's called a diagonal what is a diagonal right so diagonal of a quadrilateral is nothing but if you join two opposite vertices right so hence diagonals here are ac and bd is it fine ac and bd are the diagonals so how many diagonals are there in a quadrilateral two types two uh, diagonals are there now there are a few more definitions let's understand those definitions as well so let me just draw a quadrilateral first so you can see there could be variety of quadrilaterals drawn as well so let's say this also could be a you know oh no this this kind of a um, figure for example this is also a quadrilateral isn't it so we'll see what are the nomenclature around it but for the time being let's consider this quadrilateral and the quadrilateral is named after its vertices so a b c d is a quadrilateral okay so a b c d is a quadrilateral now so if you see uh, angle a and angle c are opposite angles opposite opposite angles right similarly angle b and angle d are opposite angles pair of opposite angles right they are opposite to each other right angle a is opposite to angle c angle d is opposite to angle b okay similarly there will be adjacent angles adjacent angles and you would observe there are four pair of adjacent angles what all one is angle a and angle b adjacent means they will share they share a common side common side okay so angle a and angle b what is the common side common side is ab then you can see angle b and angle c common side is bc then third pair is angle c and angle d and this is cd is the common side and the fourth pair is angle d and angle a and the common side is a d okay so four pairs of adjacent angles so these are all definitions please remember them opposite angles adjacent angle similarly we have opposite sides right so how many pairs of opposite sides two pairs opposite sides so if you see a b a b and c d are the first pair and the second pair is a d and b c so two pairs of opposite sides how many pairs two pairs okay similarly we have adjacent sides as well so adjacent adjacent sides and how do we identify adjacent sides they will share share a common vertex okay common vertex so if you see what all adjacent sides can you see from here so a b and b c these are adjacent sides right pair number one and the common common vertex common vertex is b clearly similarly second pair will be b c and c d and the common vertex is c third pair is c d and d a and the common vertex is d and the fourth one is d a and a b right and what is the common vertex common vertex here is a so these are some 
definitions around the vertex. So in this session, what did we learn? We learned about what is a quadrilateral and uh, what are what is meant by vertices, what is what are laterals, what are sides, what are angles. Then uh, we also call quadrilaterals as quadriangles, quadrangles. And then we understood opposite angles, adjacent angles, opposite sides, opposite side here. This, this is the opposite side and adjacent side. This is what we learned in this introductory session on quadrilateral. So in the later uh, sessions, we'll be dealing with the properties of quadrilaterals. Thank you.